right, we're going to tie a stimulator, and I've got a size 8 hopper hook in the vise, and I'm going to use a 70 fire orange thread, and I'll just take a handful of wraps to get the thread on the shank. And now for the tail, what I'm going to use is a uh, elk hair, and I'm going to use just a, this is a natural light, and this is body hair. And so I'm going to take a section of that off. And if you prefer to work with, with deer hair, certainly able to substitute that material. So I've taken a section off, and I'm going to go ahead and comb out the under fur. And I just use a regular comb to do that. It's always good to take a little more elk hair, deer hair than you think you're going to use because as you comb it out you're going to lose some of that some of that volume. So I'll put it in my stacker just give it a couple of taps and when I pull it out those tips will be aligned and I'll give it one last inspection to make sure I don't have any long tips or any butt sections that, that turn themselves around and yank those out and when I'm happy with it I'm gonna have this extend just beyond the bend in the hook I don't want a real long real long tail for this and you'll notice I'm tying in the in the middle and that's because I want this to add some volume to the to the fly itself so I'm gonna make a couple of loose wraps you can see it's gonna to want to start to it's gonna to want to start to spin there so I'll take a couple of loose wraps and then when I have the butt section secure, then I can start to advance that all the way through. And I'll bring that down to just the bend or the uh, barb of the hook there and finish securing that all the way down. Alright, so then you can see the tail there. And I can pull up all this elk hair trim that off. All this is going to be tied under so you don't need to get real clean with it but I'll just button up those sections. Alright so once I'm good with that the next piece that I'm going to tie in then is the uh, hackle that I'm going to use and I use two different types of hackle on this. The hackle for the body is going to be in a, a furnace hackle and so I'll just take a section of furnace hackle out like so, trim up all the end pieces and have the butt section here and then I'll just tie that in. And trim off that. All right, the last piece of body material that I'm going to tie is in uh, the antron. I'm going to use a golden antron for this, so I've already got it more or less cut to to the length that I'm going to need, and I'll just tie this in right to the side. all the way down to my tail section. And then I can advance the thread up to uh, about the three quarters way up. And you can see that I've left some, some room around the head. That's going to be important as you get further along in this pattern. Uh, lots more material to tie in. So now I'll just take nice even wraps to cover that body. And when I've got to my thread, then I'll just bring it up and tie that off. And come back through and trim that. Now I can start to wrap my hackle. I'm just going to take nice even wraps with this as well.
through the body. I'll give one more turn and then tie that off. Alright, and come back through and trim up that section. I'll pull that back, make sure I've caught all the fibers. Alright, now once I'm happy with the way the uh, the hackle looks, I'm going to add one more section of elk hair to this. So I'm going to take the same color, I'm going to take about the same volume, and I'm going to repeat the process that I did with the tail section. So I've got that, I'm going to comb out all the under fur. back of my stacker align the tips and I can pull that out and give one final inspection here make sure I've got any butt sections out Alright, now I can go ahead and attach this too. And I measure I measure the length of this wing just so it falls beyond uh, the, the body uh, section there of the antron. So I have that measured in and I'm just going to take a couple of wraps here to get it in. And then I'll bring that back through and trim up all this all this other hair and you want to be as diligent as you can with this because again there'll be some other materials that you're going to tie in so make sure you get this as slim a profile in the front as you can all right and so you can see now how the wing sits there so now I'm going to tie in my other hackle color and this I'm going to use a grizzly hackle and again take out the size that matches the hook you're using I'm going to clean out the body the under the stem section here and trim off just a nice tie in point I'm going to set that right alongside and begin to wrap that in and then I can take off that stem. All right. <clears throat> now for the, uh, I'm going to use a dubbing uh, to get this front section, and I'm going to use an olive ice dubbing for this. So I'm going to take off a pinch. And get that on my thread. And then just dub that dub that front section down. I'm going to readjust my hook just slightly so that I don't lose it. All right. So now that I have the that front dubbed in. Now I can start to bring my hackle through it. So I'll just take nice even turns with this. These are going to be closer together than you did with your body. I'm going to take one more and then tie that in. And you can see some of that sparkle come through. Then I'll pull everything back and I'm going to make a nice nice head on this and before I uh, before I cut off that hackle I'll put in some whip finishes here just in the event that I'd lose it it would be secure so now I can come back through and again when I take off a tip section that has hackle around it I'm just going to go ahead and keep my scissors open uh, to cut through 
and I'll do the same with I'll do the same with that. The reason I do it is because I don't want to cut off any of that any of that hackle. All right. So the last item I'll add here is some head cement just to make sure everything stays put. And when I do this around hackle, I use uh, a head cement that has it's real liquid, and I'll just put it on my bobbin and I'll just let it run let it run down as to not bind any of those uh, fibers themselves I just want to get the thread for this and this is a, a great high floating pattern good to run a dropper off of you can tie this with with rubber legs in at the front as well but uh, that is Stimulator.